Hello mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to Amnesia Custom Stories. Today has been requested a custom story by the name of The Machine. I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be like, but I am a bit of a machine, so who better to play the game? How are we? How are we, chat? Very good. So this is the custom story right here. It has an intro. It is the year 1887, good year for firearms. You and your wife Nina have been invited to Lord Harris's feast, which was going to happen inside of his own manor at the countryside of Norfolk. The main person of that event, Lord Harris of Norfolk, was widely regarded as an eccentric and odd engineer due to his researches on steam machines and engines. On that night, 19th of October 1887, after several hours of feasting, you felt drunk. You made your way to the guest room, you've laid on the floor and have fallen asleep. So, I don't know what this is going to tell us, but apparently we are drunk on feasting. So I, I think that maybe our food has been laced with alcohol. Hello, mortals. I know it looks like it's crashed. Okay, here we go. Ah, nice toasty warm fire. Something warm to pass out next to. We passed out drunk. We, we had a few too many hams. And we are absolutely drunk. We can't even walk straight. These custom stories always start off with like, you're just waking up after having been drugged in some way. My kid, how long have I been asleep? I need something to drink. No, my friend, I think that is probably the last thing you need. Uh, there's a bucket over here. Is that a bucket of water? Or is it a bucket of piss? Let's drink it and find out. It's 2.40 a.m. and our water is cloudy. Scott's world, pretty old. Yeah, 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 it is a pretty old game. Welcome to the chat, guys. We're playing it. I got a bucket of water. W wonderful. Uh, do I drink this? Where'd it go? I think I just drank the whole thing. Either that or I vomited. Hard to tell sometimes. Right, so I know nothing about this custom story, except it's intended playtime length, and it's apparently a short one. So I'm going to be quite thorough with any lore around the place. Uh, it just kind of seems like we have had a hard night out on the piss, right? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the story of the game. Looks like somebody has closed me from the other side. Oh no. What's up with the music? Oh my god! Game? What just happened? Am I a part of the omen? I feel like I'm a part of the omen. Oh, great. Somebody beat the door down. There is wine on the ground. Probably why we are so drunk. Do we go exploring? Do we go exploring around? Is there any... Ooh, that is a naked man. God, that's an Lord Jameson corpse. And what? There's supposed to be more of them? He definitely has his pizzle hanging out. I'm not really seeing a lot that... Ooh, there's another corpse right here. Hello there, sir. Just uh, airing out the old junk I see. Matt, he looks cozy as hell, doesn't he? That is so cozy. What a guy. Okay, there is a tinderbox right here. Let's pick this up. Let's start ransacking the place, because that's pretty much my entire motivation for this game. Okay, I think this door's closed. Nope, just opens inwards. What's in here? There's a feather on the ground. There is a gigantic metal locker with some oil, a crowbar. And a lantern, that's actually a pretty good combination of items. Let's put that over there because it's fun. And also this one can go over there too. There's some lore right here. Lord Harris, diary number 278. That is a lot of diaries to have. My last inventions. As for now... <laughs> Dude, should we give him like a goofy Icelandic accent based on the, uh, the typos? My last inventions is for new. I am working on something completely different. The machine. I've created some space underneath my mansion to provide a good lab for my experimentation. I am trying to use steam as a power source. My trusted advisor, Mr. Paul, has decided to hire a group of specialists to work for me. And they need some workspace. As for now, they are performing well. Tomorrow, we will be testing new steam power doors. If everything is fine, I will start this prediction. Also, I got some new ideas for human machine. Maybe in close future, I will be able to take up a mechanical human being? This idea doesn't let me sleep at night. Maybe the real omen was the friends we made along the way. 
<laughs> yep, that is that is a good takeaway for the for the Omen series, especially now that they've got a new movie that's just come out. It's pretty good too. I watched it. Uh, it certainly doesn't let you down. I don't know if we're supposed to be like, oh no, sorry. In it, Mina, my beloved is good. What is this? Is this a Ouija board? What does it do? Monsieur Silly Billy? He very well could be Monsieur Silly Billy. But more more Icelandic. Oh, there is blood beneath this bed. Let's see if there's a person under it to go with the with the blood. No, there is no thing underneath the bed. There is some drugs here. Nice. Ah, oh, sanity potion. Yuck. That's not drugs. I'm taking this book. Knowledge is power. And also this goblet. There we go. Okay, so we have a fireplace. Can't believe I missed that tinderbox. There is a painting here which we cannot move. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing other than basically just go through this door, right? Robert? Uh, this is locked. Well, I think we picked up a crowbar though, right? Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's get this crowbar. Busting down that door. Nice. Where is everybody? Okay, we've got a uh, pen and quill here. We could probably yeet that real far. Yep, it's pretty far. That's really going to confuse the cleaners. Uh, there's a clock here. What does it say? It says nothing. Six o'clock. Could be broken. Could be broken, which means it's right at least twice a day. Did you see that edit I sent in the Discord? I did not. I did not at all. I have been uh, busy. I've been a busy bee editing videos. Now that I kind of have the love for editing rekindled. <laughs> I did on the table. 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 Where is everybody? Well, that was confusing. I don't know if that was intentionally confusing. But it was certainly confusing. Okay, that is a different area. Probably don't want to go in there just yet. What's over here? I'm bee hopping around the place. Oh, is that breakable? Absolutely it's breakable. Nice. Broke those two. Very, very good. And we will throw this into the fire. Great. I love a little fire hazard. What's in here? Bit of blood. Bit of blood. Ah, we've got a lantern. Perfect. Bit of blood. Just finished watching Scream 4. Best one since one, though. It's not a high bar. Yeah, I agree. I feel like the Scream series has uh, been very, very hit or miss recently. Very, very recently. Scream 4 was probably my favorite one. That's the one with Hayden Panettiere in it, right? The, uh, the, the horror buff. I found a lever. Wow. Who knew that ransacking this entire location would have actually paid dividends? Not me. Do we want to take a potato with us? Maybe we'll get hungry. I think we take a potato with us. Oh, apparently these potatoes are nailed down. The bread's not, though. How long have we been here? This bread is absolutely screwed. Oh. Would you look at that? There is a, uh... Oh, my God! There are back rooms here. Versus the only truly good one so far. Yeah, it, it redefined a genre and then invented another one on its own. Right. We picked up a Hulu needle. Well, this is weird. What happened in here? Was it just kind of like a pressure issue? Oh my god, is that a human skull? Creepy! Very creepy! We'll take it with us. Maybe we can scare off anything in front of us with it. Can we open this way? No, we cannot. Open the door for me! Or not. What's this way? Not really a lot. What's in there, buddy? You tell me. Nothing. Okay, what is in here? Nothing. Yeah, good eyes. Good eyes, buddy, old pal. Can we open it this way? No, we cannot. No, it has to open inwards. Oh, it's completely locked, actually. Maybe we don't go in that way. Maybe we don't go in that way at all. What about this one here? Oh, this one's unlocked. Apparently the skull wasn't big enough to bust it open, though. This is Lord Harris's office. There we go. Actually, let's, uh, let's complete this picture. I feel like there is a way of doing things, and there is a way of not doing things. And we don't want to half-ass anything. So let's, let's just, uh... Well, that was weird. Don't know what I expected. Let's start ransacking. What else is in here? There's a shirt. Probably not useful for us unless we were hanging upside down and messed ourselves. 
I'm gonna throw this box across the room here. A lot of bookshelves. Randomly brings back the asterisk joke. What a what asterisk joke? Is is there a joke with the asterisk? Piano, not interested, apparently. I'd like to play it, but don't have a choice. I better check his desk. Yeah, sounds good. What is there to check? There is something inside. Great, can we wedge it open with this door maybe? No. No, I don't think so. I think we're actually supposed to maybe... Actually, could I just like grab it from this gap right here? Yep, I can grab it from the gap. There was oil in there and that was it. Wonderful. Okie dokie. Now it does seem to be that we are going to have to look for very, very clean gaps at this point. Bro turned into Little Misfortune. This is Little Misfortune, isn't it? Look at that thing out of it. Why is this thing so heavy? And what is it? Never mind. It's not heavy anymore. Finance Nerd, a free rec stone cutting company, D600 pins, medicine company, 250 pins, a workers and specialist salary, 156 pins, additional cost, 217 pins. I was actually reading this as if it was weight. <laughs> yes, dear Mr. Paul, please, we need to cut down the cost. Tell the workers to stop working on Saturdays. We don't need them now. Also, I would like to see your weekly report. Why are you being so late, you silly goose? Silly, silly goose he is, and not me. I'm not the silly goose. There was nothing in here, by the way. Literally a waste of time. Oh, that looks important. What's in here? Oh, this is that place we already ransacked. We found a hollow needle in here. Close. How do I open it? Uh, do we try this hello needle? The lock is very complicated. I need a key. Okay. And it won't just shake open either. There were other areas that we could kind of explore around here, wasn't there? I feel like that's the case. Uh, actually, let's kind of clear off this table here. <laughs> just... <laughs> this made such a mess. Straight off the bat. Immediate mess. Oh, I found the mess machine. Who needs the machine when you've got the mess machine right here? Oh, that one's green. It probably has a, a higher efficacy of sweeping these tables clean. Uh, let's clean up. Let's clean up. We're our guests after all, and we don't necessarily want to uh, leave dirty dishes all over the place. Let's uh, just sweep all that clean. Very good. And we will check this door right here. Hey, there's a naked man right here with his puzzle hanging out. As you were, sir. There's also a tiny little statue right there. Yes! Sizzles, crushes, pelvis, yes. Dude, I thought this was Spider-Man. Cool math games. There's no way in hell this is cool math games. It's more like cool meth games. Speaking of which, where do we find the meth? Uh, I am, I am itching. Okay, that requires a key. We don't have a key. We've only got this hollow needle, which I imagine is going to be used to open this. Yes, I think so. So let's do that right now. Cannot use the item in this way. But the description literally says it can be used for lockpicking. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, does this open? Does this open? No, it does not. Okay, we're stuck in here with all of our farts and whiskey sweats, unfortunately. I'm taking this jug. Do we look in here? No, we need a key to go on there. So there was actually another zone transition that we can go to. Ooh, why is there blood here? That sucks. Sucks to be whoever that was. We'll go over here and we'll try this one. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, is there anything in this set of drawers right here? No. And there's nothing inside there. It's not even worth ransacking. But for the sake of messiness, we're going to do it anyway. And I'm going to leave the box there so people know how I did it. Just in case they want to do the rest of them themselves. That goblet's rolling around. <laughs> Man, we've made a mess in here. That's so funny. Okay. What about this one? Can we open this one with the needle? No. What the hell do we open with this, with this goddamn needle? It's clearly a lockpick. That's its core description. It's got no other function. Please don't tell me it's going to be used to get into the... Uh, oh, what was it? There was a, a, a locked desk, wasn't there? But we just kind of took everything from it without giving two hoots about the lock itself. Uh, hello there, sir. Would you like this here hello needle? No. Apparently we can use something on that body, though. Nothing up there, it seems. See anything in here? There's a book. I'll rub this guy's, um, or not. 
Let's not cover up his shame. Let's just leave it open and exposed to the world. Right, so I'm gonna go and try that desk, the one that had the locked fixture in it, because I'm pretty sure that has to be the way forward. I think I might spawn something inside of there. What's in here? Nothing, just a fireplace. Okay. So this one right here, this one had a lock on it, didn't it? Right here. Yeah, we can't open that. Do we pick it? Oh, I see. We found a metal key. Wonderful. Okay, let's hop out of here and we'll gap it to, I assume this door is the one that we open with this metal key. Because it's right beside it. Nope, <laughs> it's not the right place. All right, we're coming back out. Is it darker? Is it just me or is it darker in here? I feel like it's darker in here. It worked! What's down here? I'm taking this jug, just in case we get attacked. It looks heavy and maybe we can slap something in the face with it. Well, that was weird. Uh, we ran out of oil, which is fine. We can look for more. None down here. Oh my God! Oh, what the hell? No! <gasps> when you have your headphones at the back of your head, you look like a TV show presenter. I am presenting a TV show. That's what a stream is, my dude. That's what a stream is. Okay. Ironically, these boxes are now as hammered as we are, I assume. Is there anything under them? No. Who threw this gear at us? Who threw this gear at us? Who was it? Well, I don't see anyone. Okay. Let's go all the way down to the bottom of here before we start speculating as to who just threw that at us. It was not nice. It was not kind. Unkind. Very unkind decision. That's a cool loading screen. I don't know how they made that effect. Maybe like screenshot and then highlight edges? Okay. This place has- Whoa, okay. This place has a very intense atmosphere. Oh, okay. What the hell? I throw a barrel. Uh, I'm gonna take this gear with me. Because I always get told, right? I always get told that a party's not really a party without a little bit of gear. So I think we should probably utilize that logic here now. We'll continue making a, a bit of a mess. I think there's a box, not interested. Anything down here? There is a cross. Okay, wonderful. I'm ducking under this. Excellent, I solved that puzzle already. Hello there, sir. Gross. Gross. Okay, we've got a uh, flower pot that we can smash. We've got a, some kind of control panel. What does this do? What is this? What are these boxes for? Are they holding secrets? No. <laughs> I just inverted the positioning of those boxes though. Room! Good, we've got a javelin and we've also got some oil, which is fantastic. And we can ransack these drawers too. In the box, nice. Nothing to flash though. What is this? Crap. That looks like a note. Security gate, my lord, after several unexpected events that happened last week at the lower levels of our machinery, I felt a very poor didn't lock the first security gate. Last night we heard strange noises coming from the laboratory room, and a few of my subordinates refused to continue the work. I am sure you would blame me for this. Moreover, I hope that we will soon resolve a that issue. Sincerely, Mr. Paul Pierce. Unfortunately, I have left my security gate manual and I don't exactly know which lever opens that gate. I am sure that it is important to combine two levers to open it. One turns the steam source on, while the second one directs the steam into the proper engine. But there is a problem. One lever opens the hidden door of a laboratory. We don't know what is going on there. Yes, that does sound like a problem, doesn't it? How about we just open every single one of them? All of them sound... Oh, there we go. I've solved the puzzle. What? Seriously? No shot. No shot. Come off it. Don't be silly. Don't be daft. Okay, nothing in there. To the Zeppelin. That's a, a weird call to action. What's that? That is steam, that's fine. Throw this box down here. Okay, good. And 
And now I'm looking around. I don't see much. Do we still have the crowbar? No, we do not. Yes, that would've been really handy about here. Damn, I'm strong. I've been throwing these doors open with the force of a thousand suns. Oil! Nice. I knew ransacking the place was a good idea. What is this? Uh, is that like an electric? Oh, I can't move it anymore. I feel like it's an electric, uh, what's my doodle? We need a lever. One of these are missing right here. We are missing a lever. Let's go and find ourselves a lever. There's a protection piece right here. Let's get this pro Nope, we're taking this with us because I can almost guarantee we need it. Or do we just put it here? Yes, we put it right there. So there's got to be another one of these around the place, right? These pipe puzzles are pretty easy to solve. This one is some fun puzzles. Yes, I've already uh, found one of the answers to one of the puzzles. Throw that barrel down the stairs. Just in case somebody's trying to Donkey Kong their way up our, um, up our flank. Okay, nothing here. There is a wheel. Oh, oil. Nice. This custom story has actually laden us with light, which is just fantastic. All right, what else is there? I hear a rat. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a, there's a, a hatch here that I'm really struggling to open. What's down there? What is down there? Hard to tell. Uh, let's look up here for some pipes first. Maybe we'll find some pipes up here before we go down there. Anything under the stairs? No. No skier stairs. No nothing. Comes off it. <laughs> it's just a turn of phrase. Come off it. There's blood going into here. We don't really want to go in there, do we? Oh, a note. And a hand. Nice. We were missing one. Steam bulkheads. As graded, may people have inserted a solid steam bulkheads to control the lower passage. You can open it by turning the valve which we have built inside the control room upstairs. Of course, you will just need to turn the steam engine on first. Just direct the steam source to engine number one, turn LX rusty capacitor on, and set the lever combination to a proper one. The default is up to up. That's it. We are waiting for payment now. Mathis and go. Okay, up, down, up. Up, down, up is the combination, it seems. Let's get this hand, and we'll go upstairs and we'll up, run out of oil, apparently. Let's Donkey Kong our way up these stairs here. Try and find our way back. We didn't go that way, did we? No, we definitely came from that way. Okay, we'll come over here. Man, this hand is actually doing a, a great job at making a bigger mess. Okay, up, down, up was the default, right? So if we put this down. Good. I think that's actually done something. What up? Hey, that cool can of beans. I'm just playing another Amnesia custom story. Uh, I'm trying to get this hand so we can make a better mess of this place, but it's not really doing anything right now. Uh, we need to find the other room, right? With all the other valves. We should probably go ahead and fill up the oil. Yep, we dropped our hand. That's embarrassing. Let's pick this up. We don't want to be caught armless. Get the lamp out. So we want to go through here, and I'm pretty sure there was, in fact, some kind of wheel system in here. Hello there, sir. Hold on to that for me. Not this. It's this. This right here. I think that's done something. I hope. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's take his hand right here. Give him a, a, a nice little thank you stroke. There you go, buddy. Very good. And we will come out of here completely forgetting that I just did that. Whoa, Evil Embodied joins the chat. What the hell does that mean? I have absolutely no idea what that means. We'll get this hand into the ball cradling position before we kind of go downstairs and see if we haven't already unlocked the bulk yet. There's a pile of rocks here too that I don't think I can move. Get this hand back up. Uh, that did nothing. Okay, let's go check in this hatch right here. Let's, let's see what this thing has to offer. Oh, I slipped and fell. Damn, that hurt. Anything else down here? No, it doesn't really look like it, does it? What about behind this box? Nothing. Okay, we'll take this here pipe and we will go up these ladders with it. We're getting high with a pipe. The stone is dream. Oh yeah, there are more than just you guys that turned up to chat, by the way. <laughs> There's every now and then someone else. You know, once in a blue moon. Is this where we take it? Yes. This is where this pipe goes, right here. Slot that bad boy right on there. And I think this is the right combination, right? 
Up, down, up was the default. Up, down, up. What's in here? Do we have to fuel the furnace? No. That is cranking a bunch of electricity. I don't know how the hell it's doing it. But I'm no scientist. I'm just some idiot with a, uh, a ring light, a webcam, and a fairly decent computer. Okay, I've seen enough in here. What else is there? There are some planks. I'm not sure if we can actually just rip these off, unfortunately. No, it doesn't seem like we can. Let's start using tinderboxes. I think that might actually be a good idea. To just get into the habit of using these tinderboxes. Because we haven't been, ever. We've just been collecting them and they go to waste. Okay. Watch out, he's armed. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think we're done down here. There was just that pipe and a couple of rats and also a broken pot. There's a shovel here too. Maybe we take this up in case we get attacked, but I doubt we will be attacked. Okie dokie! I think we have to go up and try and brute force the, uh... The gate then, right? Where have we... There's no way we haven't already been, right? This is basically the last place. Guys, it's 3am for me. <laughs> You poor thing. Watching this at 3 a.m. would actually be nightmarish. Especially with the voice acting. Where is that room with all of the wheels? I think that's where we need to go. We need to we need to solve this puzzle really, really fast. Pardon the pun. Whoa! Okay! No! No, no, no! No, no, no! Oh no! There's actually somebody coming! I'm gonna throw this box at him. Here you go, buddy! Boom! Suck it! Suck it! Dickhead! I slammed that door on my own face, that hurt! Are we coming in here? We are crouching in the corner. Blair Witchin in the corner! Okay, I think he's gone. All I hear is the cacophony of machinery. Is he even still on the. Oh! Oh my god, the oil scared me! I thought it was actually a creature. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that he's not here anymore. No, he's definitely not here anymore. Uh, regardless, let's take this gear to fend him off if we need to. Oh, multi-path. Great, and a tinderbox. Can we go in here? Why the hell am I actually trying to go into this hole? That is a terrible idea. Uh, I don't really see anything back here except for that Fabergé egg, which is probably worth heaps. Never mind, now it's worth nothing. Let's come up the stairs. We ran out of oil again. That's like the third time we've run out of oil. Where the hell are we? Sanity potion, yuck, that's not drugs. Uh, this is the door to a zeppelin, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my lantern. We can't go through there, though. I don't think there's any way of actually getting through there. So, now that that guy opened the door for us, I'm a little bit perplexed as to what we're supposed to be doing next. Because there's nothing in here. Unless we're actually supposed to be going down this hole. Which I would find irregular. Nah, we definitely don't have to go in there. Move that box so we can get through here, and I am going to try and do this other wheel. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's forget that I did that. Let's forget that I did that entirely. Oh, okay, we had to turn it the other way. That's a first. Get this goblet just in case we get attacked again. Are we gonna get attacked again? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident that we're not about to be attacked. There's blood on the ground right there. Gotta be wary of that. That's a slip hazard. Let's uh, Donkey Kong this down. Actually, we should probably just set up all these barrels so we can Donkey Kong whatever it charges up at us, ever. Well, this is spooky. Oh! Oh, it's blood. Yeah, thanks for the... Uh-oh. I'm coming over here. Are we being raided? One with the barrel. 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 No, I don't think we're being raided, actually. I think we're absolutely fine. There's some ashen remains right there. Don't particularly care too much about the ashen remains. Unless we can eat them, but, you know, we haven't actually been in this area long enough to really justify eating human remains. Well, give it another couple of hours, though. I'll get peckish. Uh, we found a switch hole, I guess? A switch hole? 
I don't know where we would find the actual lever, however. Or even if there's one. Uh, let's put that away. Honey, is that you? Honey, I thought you were dead. I've seen terrible things. Everything was dark. And now, oh. I'm here in this cell. Hey, is anybody out there? Could you Anything in me? here, buddy? I'm not headless. Uh, I don't particularly care who you are. God bless you here. Maybe there is a chance to escape from this dim place. Yes, it's all my fault. But there is no time for explanation. We need to act quickly. I've got time. The machine is spreading above our heads. Yes, it's a living machine. Anyway, you need to find a key to open these damn doors. Go to the laboratory and check the menu. With a little bit of luck, you'll be able to free your wife. So don't waste your time. And remember, only with my help, you can get out of here. Who's saying this? Is this... Is he in here, maybe? Is everyone just locked in this room right there? Is there any way in from this side? No. What if we... <coughs> burp. What if we grab like a barrel and try and beat it down? Do you think it'll open? Do we think it'll open? I was in your dream last night. That is exactly where I plan to be. When I say that I've got things to do, that's actually what I'm doing. I'm, I'm off like mind flaying. It's, it's a hobby of mine. I'm getting kind of good at it, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to get the hang of. Especially in this Euclidean realm. I, I prefer dreams. What happened? What happened? I'm actually pretty big on dream analysis. They usually indicate some kind of stressor in your life. Well, the bad dreams do. Good dreams just tend to be your brain's way of keeping you entertained while your body shuts down. Like a TV. Also, I don't know how well people tend to remember their dreams, but it's in like 144p. Yeah, screw that. Thank you, door. Closing itself. All right, what is this? What does it do? This is a glyph. There is some kind of suck machine here with the skull on this area right here. Let's put that skull on the satanic board of pentagrams right there. Uh, I think we need three gears. Three kind of smallish gears. There is a dog's head. That sucks. I hate that. There is a bone saw. Wonderful. A pile of dead rats. Excellent. Is a sanity potion just drugs? I don't even think it's just drugs. I think it's a placebo. I know that laudanum is just drugs. It's like cocaine, morphine, ibuprofen, alcohol, all the nasty stuff. There is something behind the door. Well, don't. Don't keep my ball so blue. Tell me what it is. Beat it down, skull. Pathetic. Okay, we'll move on. We'll grab this barrel in case we need to become one with the barrel. We should be good, actually. Wait, is this where we came from? Why doesn't it have a name? Why doesn't it have a name? Yes, this is the prison. That's where we came from. Okay, so I'm getting turned around a little bit. Which maybe isn't the best thing. Take this chair, just in case uh, something jumps out at us. I doubt anything will, but you, you never know. Okay, that won't open. That won't open. There is a ladder just over here. Oh, I think I've already solved a puzzle. I have definitely solved a puzzle. Oh my god! Ladder? Wait, did I just did I just sequentially break three things at once? No shot. There, I think I just broke the door open. No oh, what? Come on! We were in a music lesson at my school, and we were doing a review of a Spotify artist called Yinsen and his song "A Day at the." <laughs> then this random guy sank into the ground. That is absolutely delightful. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. I think the game literally just broke. I think I actually just sequence broke the game. Yeah, that's definitely supposed to be locked. That's still broken. We've lost access to that ladder. Man, that sucks. Uh, let's try and like get up there with the chairs and such, right? Because that might be the, the next best option. Do we try this door? 
Oh yeah, this that's right. We noped out of this one here. It's quiet. Oh, there's a an orgy of dead bodies in here. That's all I can really say about that room. And in here seems to be a uh, an abattoir of rotting pigs. Maybe not the best thing in the world. Let's leave that open. Get that room out a little bit. Ah, oh, this one's locked. What's in there? If we had another ladder, we could probably break that door open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we lost our ladder. We don't need that ladder to progress, do we? I haven't absolutely just ruined my chances of of beating the game. I haven't soft locked myself out because I uh that trapdoor is too high. Maybe there is a ladder somewhere. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 oh no. Ah, uh, we can just stack boxes. Honestly, we probably don't need a ladder per se. I played Justine. I played Amnesia Justine. I know exactly what I'm doing. Take this one here. There you go. And we should be able to jump up here. Good. We obviously can't use the ladder. Ah, uh, just hit my head, I think. Ah, good. So we actually do need a little bit more height. Okie dokie. Let's get a little bit more height. I think maybe if we kind of like orient the chair like this, we might be able to kind of like jump up on its uh, frame a couple of times. Get up top. Oh, that's getting precarious. Ugh. Uh, let me up, please. Okay, now we're doing this in the dark. Alright, I am still kind of break- No, we gotta do it quick! We gotta do it quick! We gotta do it quick! Ah, oh, that's a bad angle. It's a bad angle. It's a bangle. Piss. Okay. Hello there, dog shark. How are we tonight? I have uh, just soft locked us out of a um, rather easy fix for the puzzle that we are currently solving, unfortunately. Uh, let's start stacking them up a little bit further down, I think. Like, here, here. We'll put the chest on this one. We'll use the table to kind of skirt up. I will pile up as much stuff as is humanly possible, if needs be. Okay, let's try the chair trick again. Grab it! Okay, good. And we'll put this, like, here. We kind of want it to stand up on its own. Whoops, I didn't mean to throw that. Let's just grab this one. This one's already oriented well. Uh, apparently I can't jump up there. Put this down on the table here. We'll jump up manually. Okay, here's my theory. It, no, that's definitely not going to work. We need like a thousand different... Uh, we need a thousand barrels. I think we've screwed ourselves out of it by, uh, by getting rid of that ladder. Oh, piss. It actually just... Oh, actually, I know exactly what we can do. We'll take this here uh, mattress and we will sprint as fast as our tiny little legs will carry us with this mattress. And uh, just like how I broke the game, we're also going to break the game to get through. Wow, this thing's apparently really heavy. Okay, good. Move that in there. Move all of this crap out of the way. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And throw that because it's fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's move it over a little bit further this way. Damn, that's a heavy bed roll. Okay. Please! No! <laughs> it worked in a different mod. Maybe we have to grab the, like, middle here. Okay, that just flipped it on its side. Impressive. Great. Uh, let's try crouch, grab, stand... No, that doesn't do anything. That's that's just a silly method. I'm sure we can kind of glitch our way up here. I'm sure of it. Oh, it's coming. No, it's not coming. Damn, that was so close. We could probably just use this as a ramp to get up there in the first place. What if we, like, try it from this angle here? Grab the goddamn carpet! You idiot! Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming! Oh, so close! <laughs> Why am I like this? Why must I always do things wrong? It's not coming. We probably have to restart, right? Oh, that was close. All I can hear is the cacophony and screams of the damned. Okay, let's walk onto this thing. Okay. That's not going to cut it. Turn it sideways. We are right beneath this thing. What if we like grab the corner here? Whoops, that's not the one I want. Oh, 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 hello. 
I think we were just hitting our head on the roof, unfortunately. There might be an invisible wall. Might be an invisible wall, which I would hate. Okay, so there is actually a technique to it. If we grab the side here, and then we kind of spin sideways as we jump, it seems like that's the way. It seems like that is the way, but it... I'm gonna do it like the other way around, maybe? Come on! Come on! Help me out! Oh, almost had it so close. Right. I feel like maybe we should probably just restart this area. Can we do that? Are there auto saves in this one? I can't uh, save and exit, unfortunately. I can exit. We'll see if this does anything. So we still have the custom story in the machine here. We need that ladder. It seems as though that's actually really important. No! Why can't developers stick a basic save system in these custom stories? On we go. Yeah. Onwards and upwards. It's a living machine. Anyway. Okay. You need to find a key so, to open these damn doors. We're back to, to where we were before. And check the manual. We gotta grab this ladder. With a little bit of luck, you'll be able to free your And wife. instead of just ramming these uh, platforms here open, I think we go through, we bring this ladder through here. Maybe we grab it like this. Oh yeah, that's real good. This is a, a very effective way of carrying a ladder. Just straight through. Come on. Seriously? Stay open! Ridiculous. Let's grab this back up. There we go. And we're moving onwards. So, we built a thingy up here previously to kind of open up this hatch. Trapdoor is too high. Does not matter. Does not matter how high it is. Uh, maybe like... Okay, I can't actually see what I'm... Never mind, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Will I play the DLC for Little Nightmares? Yes, I actually bought it. It was a good shout that you found it was on sale. I am stuck on this ladder. I can't... No way. I can't go through! Oh, never mind. We just had to jump off the ladder. Okay, what's in here? This is new territory for us now. We've got a cog. And a gravestone. That sucks. What's on the other side of these boxes here? Oh, well. Throw that over there. Ah! A mushroom! And a human skull! No other remains. Wait a minute. Seriously? How the hell are we supposed to get through here? There were no other tools. There were no other tools! We don't have to, like, beat it down or something, do we? I mean, we could probably use this gear to beat it down. This one right here. Let's try that. Let's try beat down the... the boards with this gear. No, it did nothing. Okay. Looks like we... Well, I hope that gear wasn't important, because we just lost it. Okay, let's push on back here. Apparently there was literally nothing useful in this entire region, unfortunately. Right, so we need a tool. We need... Why? Why jump? We need a tool, and I don't know where we would possibly find one. There's nothing in the orgy of men in here. Probably for the best. Uh, I think we already ransacked this closet in the previous version of the game, and all we found were the sanity potion. Nothing. Okay, and there's some oil here. There's another gear right here. Let me just make sure that we don't actually have to collect these gears because I may have again soft locked us out. No, okay, that's absolutely fantastic. Right, uh, I'm not seeing a hell of a lot else. Dog's head, guy getting crushed, bone saw. Oh, we could probably actually break down the boards with this bone saw. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's probably actually a smart idea. I put our lantern away to climb this here ladder, which is absolutely just fine. I don't mind. 
I do mind that it takes so long to kind of navigate these tiny little crawl spaces. That's a little annoying. But I suppose it is what it is. Uh, let's use this on the planks. Great, we broke them in half with the bone saw. We probably could have just sawed them in half, but, you know, needs must. All right, where are we? Hello? I think this might be locked. Oh, that's the, uh, this is the hatch on the other side of the room that we already found ourselves in last time. Oh no! A dead man! There's a naked man down here and he's dead! Okay. Wow, that, that really put a lot of effort into his character model for some reason. Watch your head, buddy. Or not. I'm trying to ransack! <laughs> That is a cold shot. That is a very cool shot. I that caught me off guard. I did not expect a POV. You're you're the naked man who just hit his head on the desk. Did not expect that whatsoever. Get our lantern back. Or we could run out of oil. That's also fine. Let's fill it back up. Good. I've got this knife right here, which we just throw onto him. What is in these drawers? Nothing of note. Okay, so I imagine that the next logical thing to do is to unbarricade this door. Boom, boom. Okay, that only goes sideways. Probably makes sense, actually. I'm kind of stuck on a bunch of... Seeing you in here, buddy. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Did he give up? Okay, we're going to try Blair Witching in the corner. Let's put our lantern out and see if he just leaves. If he just forgets that we are currently standing exactly where we're standing. And he's just like, you know what? I've had enough of this place. I'm off. He's still there. Fortunately, he hasn't spotted us yet. Hilarious. How many times have I broken this game so far? Is, the, is this the fourth time? Okay, he's still there waiting for us. Not amazing. Now, there was nothing in this room of value whatsoever. Aside from the key that we've just picked up here. The key to the cell. Okay, good to know. Okay, I can still hear him wheezing and coughing and uh, doing a bunch of other crap no one really cares about. Can we just jump on this? No. What if we, like, do a, a Counter-Strike jump? No. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't function. But, like, up here. Why is he just standing in the doorway? Sir, would you mind pissing off? Potentially? Could you do me a favor and, and piss off? Is there something we can like throw to distract him maybe? There is a little box right there. Okay. He's still in the doorway. I harassed him. Hey buddy, still uh, kind of stuck over there, aren't you? This is embarrassing. You, uh, you from here? Is that a pathfinding issue? It's gotta be right, it's gotta be a pathfinding issue. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's found a way through. Oh no, we are stuck. Never mind. We're good. Okay, we're very insane. I think that maybe if we can get him to idle in that spot right there, we can go around him.
He's getting jiggy with it? Yeah, he is getting jiggy with it. Okay, I'm running. I've had enough. I'm leaving. I am done with this place. Goodbye! I am so clear. <laughs> what an asshole. What an actual asshole. I wonder what his deal was. Okay, let's take a sanity potion because I can't see anything. Right here, done. One sanity potion. Hey, it's you again. You got the key. I did. Well done. Now, open the doors and get me out of here. Okay. Honey, what are you doing? You promised to help me. I haven't said a word. Don't listen to her. Only I can help you. You got us into the situation. You need to choose, honey. Releasing one person makes another die. You know what to do. Choose wisely. Okay, I don't actually know who or what is behind these doors, so I'm, I'm just gonna take a guess at this one. The, I, I'm hoping this one's wife. I think we're saving wife. You thought that your wife was alive, and Lord Harris was alive. Nope, they all dead. <laughs> Well, that sucks. I wonder what you gonna do now. Well, I'm probably gonna take this key and try to try to escape. My last nude. Now I can see clearly what I have done. This idea with the demon was a mistake. Let me repay for my fault. Here is the key to the Zeppelin. My last great invention is located at the upper levels of machinery. Just the first door to the right when entering the machine from my mansion. Search for a green road, which I used as a key to the demon sir. Then take this road into the big room with ten pillars, not far from here, and put it inside a hole, which is behind the big barrel. We actually already found that hilariously. The passage to the demon circle should be open. From that point, you'll be on your own. Find a way to send demon back to hell and purify my name. Lord Harris. Yep, that scared me. That actually genuinely scared me. I'm taking this hand. I'm taking this hand. It's my hand. My hand now. Oh, oh my god, the statues actually just scared me. Okay, I'm running. We're probably about to get harassed or chased in some way. But I'm pretty sure if we just hang a... No, it's not here. we got to go all the way to the beginning of this map. Wait a minute. We've got a bone saw. No, we used it, actually. Okay, so we can't open that. That sucks. Let's go all the way back. I just bought a clown horn. Nice! That's some Lethal Company merch right there. I love clown horns so much. And those giant, like, rubber chickens. The giant buckets of them. And you kind of, like, uh... You, you, you sit on, on the bucket. And the whole thing just makes it an entire cacophony. Okay, we'll come up here. We'll take this here sanity potion. And we'll go into the Zeppelin using this key right here. Boop. We are entering the Zeppelin. What about this makes it a Zeppelin? We're about to find out. Oh, that was unsettling, apparently. Okay. Where are we? We are... Uh... Uh, what the hell? Where are we? Oh, I see. We're not really in a Zeppelin so much as a mezzanine. It seems. It looks like a pressure switch. What, do we put something on it? Is that what you want? Oh, I don't know if you've given me enough things to to try and load it up with. You know, on account of how I keep soft locking myself out of the game. <laughs> I don't think this custom story was made for neurotypicals. Bonk's horn flies up into the air and poofs. Okay! Uh, I'm glad you've got your, your outro sorted. I just kind of, I usually go with a nice classic goodbye. That did nothing. There is a mechanism blocking this door. Oh, I see. There's another pressure switch right here. That's actually quite poorly designed since this half blocks the egress out. Oh, there's got to be like four of them, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll come around this way next and look for another pressure switch. And we'll pressure it into opening for us. One right here? No. No, there is not. None right there. I don't really see anything, to be honest. No fuel. Okay, let's change that. Was there anything down here worth, worth our time? 
No. No, there is not. This also feels like a corridor. I know it's not a corridor, but it feels like one. Alright, where is the next pressure switch then? There's got to be a second one. Got to be a... Sorry, third. There's got to be a third one. Okay, one, two. We're not supposed to put the couches on them, are we? No. We can't even move them. Okie dokie. How about if I just huck that up there? Will the additional weight work? Another barrel. Let's huck it up this corner. Boop! No, it's doing nothing. There's got to be another pressure switch somewhere. Under this bedroll, perhaps? No. Nothing there. Nothing on the other side of this table, either. Righty who then? Okay, we can't beat that door down. I did just try. Let's get these boxes away. And we'll start using these barrels. Because I think they're a, a mite heavier. And a, a lot more jank. I'm all about the jank. I'm all about the jank. There we go. There's one. Get rid of this box. And here we go. That's two. Will this open now? Oh! Yes! The answer was yes! Great! I beg to differ. I, I feel like going out the window was probably actually a good way to escape the machine. But what do I know? Okay, there's a crank here. There's a gramophone here. I don't know what the hell this thing does. It does nothing. There's a lever. Main door lever. Okay. And this here is an out of order engine. We found the green rod that was mentioned in the exorcism notes. Right, so... What are we doing here? Nothing. Reminder that your knuckles are restored so that you can crack them again. That's funny. There's an instruction on the wall. Emergency open, left side plus right side plus main lever. Left side plus right side plus main lever. Oh, we're locked in here. Okay, that makes sense. Left side. Well, maybe that does nothing. Left side. That's locked up. That does nothing. This one doesn't do nothing. Does that open this one? Nope. Does it change this one? Nope. I like the defeated little groans that it does, though. Okay, let's check this outside because we are not using it. And we'll also throw this one outside because we're not really using... God? Maybe not. Oh, oh, there's a giant one here. Tag reads, push four times. Oh, I see. There's like, um, there's instructions everywhere. Okay. So, where are all the panels? Uh, let's try just move this over there. Engine is out of order. I don't particularly give two hoots. What does this say? Nothing. It's not Euclidean. Throw this outside as well. What does this do? What does this do? I've solved a puzzle. Is... Okay, that did nothing. That does nothing. What? Let's give this a good, a good cranking. Wonderful. And then we hit this lever. Does nothing. I'm still stuck on this wheel right here. Is there like an order of op- whoops! Oh my god, that was disorienting. Is there an order of operation to this? Okay, that does something. Anything. Doesn't change that. This is still locked up. Definitely still locked up. Right! Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I am in fact stuck. I don't think this gramophone has anything to elucidate us with either. So, what were the instructions? Nothing. Search for a green rod. Yep, take this rod to the big room with ten pillars. Uh, we can't do that because we are stuck in this room here. Does it have anything to do with this? Is there a maximum that we can turn this? I don't think so. I think this is literally just here to be spun and for no other reason. Do we have any items? Other than this strange rod, no, we don't. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. So this turns that lamp on, which means we then have to maybe enable this one here. So this one is still locked up. Can't do anything with that. We'll try the other one. One lamp on, wonderful. This one here maybe goes next. Nope, maybe not. Up, down, nope, does nothing. Well, this is a confusing set of things that we're doing right here. One there. I don't think that this engine does anything. It's out of order, so it's probably not relevant to what we're doing. We just have to spin this bunch. Maybe. Let's try it. Okay, we'll light that, and now we'll just start spinning this in any random direction. See if it does literally anything. It doesn't feel like it is. I, I think that this thing in the middle here might actually just be a, a waste of time for the sake of waste of times. Uh, there's that lever, which I don't think we've tried. This is very clearly first. Then maybe this. No, I don't think that does anything at all or whatsoever. Okay. Maybe this is the answer. Maybe this is the answer right here. Nope, doesn't look to be anything useful. This doesn't seem to do anything either. This one doesn't light ever. Maybe there's like a... There could actually be another like turn crank somewhere around in here. That isn't this thing. What about these little slots right here? What do they do? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. Probably just decoration. Definitely locked up. Definitely locked up. Okay. Right. Very confusing. Very confusing place we found ourselves in. Also, why is there a gramophone in here if we can't use it? That makes no sense to me. Is this a puzzle or is it just like a confusing place for the sake of confusion? Do we jump out the window maybe? No, we can't fit. That's probably for the best though, to be honest. Can we break this? Probably could actually if we... Tr what the hell? Uh, okay, I'm gonna crank this now. I've, I've done both of these things. What, what is this next? Ooh. Hello? Hello? What? What the? What am I what thing? Oh my god! Cheap! Cheap! Okay, let's throw that down there in case Donkey Kong comes, comes a knocking. Okay, we're good. We're clear. We're clear. So I think we have to go all the way down now into the cellar so that we can dump our rod into the uh, slot in the wall. Which I'm very happy to do now. Uh, I'm just going to gap it. I'm not going to wait for that guy to like jump out and give us a spook. I'm just going to go all the way to the end and I'm going to just get it out of the way. Get it done and dusted. Still blood on the floor. That's not good. Okay, we are almost at the location. Here we are. This is the place. Now, I do need to take a look at the note again. The passage to the demon circle should be open. From that point, you'll be on your own. Right. Good to know. So we've got this rod right here. We chuck it in there. Hello? What's going on? Oh, if only they gave me like a hint as to where it is. Oh, I found it. Can we get a Yinsen karaoke? Uh, how's that? Was that good? This isn't a circle. Oh, that's a lot more round. Okay, this is the summoning circle. I actually used to do deathcore karaoke over on Twitch. But haven't done it for ages. I was just kind of like uh, synchronizing all of the audio live and I was forcing every person who came to view me belt into a microphone 
forcing them to, to do my audio settings for me, hilariously. Crowdsourcing, I think it's called. That's a cannon! This is a literal cannon, I think. What, do we just... I'm lost. I'm stuck. Okay, we open this. I think we're supposed to put like a rock or something in there. Rock? Or even like a loaf of bread? Uh, that's sus. The hell is this? Hello? There's a magic lamp here. There's uh, either a tapeworm or a rope on the ground there. What else are we looking at? A couple of bottles. Smash that, of course. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. There appears to be crew quarters in here. Wow! Wowie! And a dead guy beneath this bed. Nope, nope, just half a dead guy. Okay, we found the powder. Excellent. And we are going to ransack this room now. Hello? Oh, piss. Do we lock ourselves in here? No, we cannot. I literally have to hold this closed. No, don't throw it. Ooh. I haven't used this street steam suggestion for you. Okay. Give it to me. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think that the game just lied to us about there actually being a threat. There is no threat. Let's throw this goblin. Boom. See what happens. Ah, oh, we ran out of oil. That's fine. We've got lots. Okay, so there was nothing useful in here. We didn't ransack this desk just yet. Okay, good. Throw this. So do I. I do, don't hold him back. If you've got any suggestions or things you want to see, let me know. Because the worst thing... Uh... The worst that can happen is I say no. <laughs> and that's in the, the very unlikely event. Oh, that's match weird. Uh, can we have this potato this time? Yes! Finally! My dreams have come true. Uh, looks like there's an oil resupply right here. Uh, let's take this potato around with us. We'll use it to protect ourselves. And I think we're done with that area. I think we just have to come out of here now. We've got the powder. Oops, I threw the potato. Oops, that was very Irish of me, wasn't it? Come over here. Start doing this. I love the stereotype of the potato famine of Ireland, right? Like, everybody thinks that that Ireland's famous for its potatoes, when the actual reality is Ireland is famous for its lack of potatoes at one period in history. <laughs> it's quite good. Uh, we'll, we'll make a potato bucket right here, or we could just knock it over. That rock looks very tough. Well, I'll be the judge of that. What rock? What rock? Oh yeah, that is tough, actually. That is very tough. Tinderbox! Like that. There's a sledgehammer here, covered in blood for some reason, don't know why. Anything else? Is there any purpose to these rooms other than to be, like, a little bit spooky in atmosphere? I think he has enough from you, cough, cough, sneeze, sneeze. Yeah, no, um, it, it doesn't really matter. Anyone can request games or, like, ideas. I don't mind. Uh, I will consider every single one of them. I won't just, like, immediately discount them. So if there is something you want to see, Again, just say so. If, if if you think of something, say something. What are we doing here? All we've got is this powder. We can't fire anything. Oh, maybe we put a potato in the... um. Maybe we put a potato in this. That'd be a good idea, right? Can we put the... No, can't put the powder in there. Maybe we put the powder in here? Potentially? Yes! That's exactly where the powder goes. I need ammo. Alright, I know exactly what kind of ammo that would be best suited for a cannon because I put it in the bucket right over here. That was weird. Okay, let's grab this bad boy. We're going to fire this thing at the wall so hard it's going to blow the door open. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> no shot! There is no way! Oh, of course, of course, of course. <sighs> All right, do we just throw the, the potato down the front of the barrel? Maybe? I want to invent Pringles. This is, this is my design. Okay, it, does, it doesn't want to fit. <sighs> Afraid of Monsters, links on Discord or some stream. Afraid of Monsters. Oh, that is on my private list. Um, 
No, it's not. I was thinking of always sometimes monsters. I've never heard of it. Afraid of monsters. What is that? Is that like nightmare creatures, but uh, modern? I bet we have to find like a cannonball or something, right? Or maybe just a gigantic rock. Maybe a gigantic rock. Maybe a hammer. Maybe we throw a hammer down the barrel. Let's try this rock. No, we can't try that rock. Give it! Okay, good. Let's try jam this into the front. Oh, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Wow. Uh, we're out of oil, but fortunately I did see an oil resupply, I think in here? All the way at the back here? Yep, here it is. Great. Holy refill! Good thing I waited for that. Okay, we're gonna fire it now. We're gonna fire the cannon, and we are going to uh, do a, a, a big noise. We're gonna do a, a big blow. A big blow. I hope everybody's ready for a blow bang! I hope that still doesn't mean what I think it means. Boom, 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 boom! Great. Oh, there's runes all over the uh, pillar here. Gross. Gross. That, that could uh, potentially mean that we are going somewhere we don't want to be going. Why is there machinery down here? I thought it was supposed to be like a Satan circle. Okay, nothing down there in terms of resources. Nothing down here in terms of resources, it seems. Oh, we can go all the way back here until we hit a wall. And there was no reward for doing so. Wow. That's just... That's just negligent. Uh, okay. I'm taking the dark path. Always take the dark path. The light path, always, is filled with a false sense of security. Never let your guard down, never get snuck up on. Oh, a couple of books right here. Wonderful. Uh, what's in here? That's, wow, come off it, water, really. Water. Oh, there's a thing down there. What's this? I found a picture of Nina! Safety instructions! In case of so many failure, I prepared a proper exorcism ritual to dismiss the demon. I am not sure if this work is so be careful. Requirements! Number one, one thing you love. Number two, a piece of pure evil. A piece of a really bad thing should work too. Three, a jar full of blood must be a pure blood. Four, an emerald gem. It's weirdly specific, that one. All things must be gathered around the main summoning circle in the right order. First two things inside the ruined mercs and the rust inside the pentagram mercs. When everything is in place, the exorcist, he must be a religious and a righteous person, has to get inside the summoning circle. It is important for him to carry a holy bible, otherwise the demon can possess his suit. The main objective of this ritual is to recognize the demon's name. Only then should the exorcist be able to dismiss him. Mr. Paul. Okay, that is Goatian. That is a very Goatian exorcism. Monster? Water monster? I smell water monster coming right around the corner any second. Maybe if we just push on up here, nothing. Anything in these drawers? No. No. Yes, actually. I was about to give up on that. That was funny. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Why? I'm really, why? Stop turning me around. I've got better things to do. Then look behind me. Okay, we have to run. We have to absolutely gap it. Does this open inwards? Yes, it does. Of course it does. Oh, shut up, wife. I'm doing my best. God, even in death, I can't get away from her. So, 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 so full. So full. It's a website called Inspirebot, and it's hilarious. There's also a bit of lore in the website, too. Mostly funny. Old short Half-Life mod. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Is it like, does the game have a name that you're requesting? Or, uh, or is it just, hey, there's a concept. Oh, there's a Bible here. Excellent. That, we're actually going to need that because we are probably not a righteous individual. Let's throw that down there. Okay, we can't forget that we've done that. Oh, piss. Is it gone? No, I think that, I think the drawing distance is just making us think that it's all gone. Okay, we'll come in here and to our left. Back and to the left. Oh! 
This is disgusting. Good! Dead workers! Anything except for this obvious bucket of blood right here? I mean, I'll take it. Picked up blood. Great. Thanks, game! Uh, there's a dungeon with a giant oil potion. Why do they call it potion? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, we can't go in there. We can't go in here. Okay. There's a bucket. There's no poops in it. Oh, that's deep. But there's water at the bottom. There's water at the bottom. That's good. That's good to know, actually. There is water at the bottom. Okay, so we don't have any tools that we can kind of use to get out of here unless we look in the fireplace and find something real good. There is nothing real good. Let's just drop down this here hole. Hope for the best. Good! Here to get out of here! Dude, this isn't a Google search. All right, good. We still have our lantern. Oh no! I sense water monster. I sense it. I smell it. I'm smelling it. I'm smelling the water monster coming up our flank. Yeah, how the hell do we get out of here? I'm actually significantly lost. I'm gonna duck under here. Good. Well, that's clearly a way out, but I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be the way out. Let's let this match. We've got enough tinder boxes, and I'm pretty sure it's not really gonna harm us to, to know that we've been there before. Okie dokie! So we, we need like a thing, don't we, to, to throw. We need a throwing thing to break down that wall, I imagine. Unless we like throw ourselves at it a bunch of times, which is probably unlikely to be the answer. Gotta, gotta jump everything in this area. Okay, we're just we're just gonna B hop to the end. Oh, what's that? There's a thing in here. Nice! Okay, can't move that beam, can't move that beam. Maybe we're supposed to like create a cave in of some sort. But I am not entirely sure. I'm just basing this off of um, pulling it out of my ass. This is where we started, isn't it? Yep, there's our bucket. Oh no! There's a dead guy under the water. He should be bloated, actually. Should be really bloated. We can't uh, wedge any of these bars off. No, 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 no. What the hell? I just saw an interaction icon. Where was it? Don't do this to me. Where was it? Please. <laughs> Why? I'm certain I saw one. Or maybe it was just... I saw it again. No, maybe there's nothing. Okay, we'll grab this bucket. Which hilariously doesn't perform its prime function, which is to hold water dry. Dry as a bone. Useless bucket. Inspire a bot was my steam idea that I was talking about. I'll check it out. I'll check it out, and if I can make any content out of it, I will. Okay, what about on this side? Can we wedge one of the, uh, one of the bars off, maybe? No. Can we, like, take this? No. We cannot. Okay, Bucket, come with me. We are going on an adventure. We'll go all the way back here. I didn't see anything else that we could actually throw at the wall to kind of break it down, and I'm not even sure if that's gonna be an intended answer to how to get out of here. Okay, let's crouch through there. Uh, the game just hijacked my controls for a sec. Well, that didn't do anything. What if we just like try and force it into the hole like this? No, nothing. Uh, maybe we're not supposed to go through there in the first place though. Maybe that's just supposed to be kind of like a red herring dead end. Stream idea. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. And I'm not going to look for it on, on Steam anymore. Uh, there is a tinderbox here. I don't particularly care too much about. So the answer's got to be like, ah, oh, piss, we're out of oil. The answer's got to be buried in the water around here, right? I imagine that's going to be the case. Okay, we're completely out of oil, which is a little bit of a fart. It lasted for a while, though. Okay, we'll use the last of our oil... And we'll see if we can't, like, uh, maybe loosen one of these bricks or something. I don't really see a lot of things that we could necessarily use to progress into that room right there, but it's not going to stop me from trying. Okay, so beams are a dud. They don't do anything. 
There is no way through around here. There's no way through here either, I don't think. Yeah, no, none of these are wiggly or anything like that. There's no items down here to kind of loosen anything else either. No holes in the fence. It's 4 a.m. now, man, you're gonna be tired. <laughs> I haven't missed a night of sleep for a while now. Actually, I lied. I, I stayed up like two days straight a couple of days ago because I got insomnia. Big lie, straight off the bat. Okay, I feel like this area here holds more secrets than is visible to the to the naked eye. It holds our bucket. Anything under the surface? Anything above us? No. Nothing, it seems. There's nothing around here. Alright, I'm lost. I'm stuck. Anyone got any ideas on uh, what to do here? I don't think there's any, like, levers or switches around the place either. But I'm not dead sure on that. I mean, it can't help to just have a look around. It's not like we've got anything else to do anyway. Other than crawl around in this absolutely disgusting, revolting sewer until the end of time. Nope, that one's pretty clear. Wow! Large oil potion! How the hell did I miss that? I don't see anything. We don't have to, like, um, glitch our way through this, right? No, I don't think so. There is a rope there. Perhaps it will allow us to go back up. I think we gotta get on the other side of here. I think that is actually a part of the map. Which would probably only really be accessible from this... This other little hole that we found over this way here. So I think this is actually supposed to be the path of natural progression. Maybe it's like a... Maybe I just have to loosen some bricks. Excuse me, Bucket. Anything here we can use? Uh, we don't really have anything in our inventory. Try this picture of Nina. Nothing. Is this even an object to use it on? No. That won't work. No, that won't work either. Right! So I'm assuming that there's a crowbar of some sort in this map that we use to bust down that wall. Or a hammer. A gigantic stone hammer of some sort. Where the hell would we find it? Hopefully it's not actually going to be in the water, because that would just be a pain in the ass. Okay, it appears that there's nothing here that we can really use at this junction. I don't see anything in the water. Nothing is in the water. I don't think there is actually anything in the water. Okay. What about down here? Anything in this grate? Nope, that is just ambience. Floppers! Okay. Along here then, I suppose. I am spending a lot of time looking down into the water to make sure I don't lose my footing. So much so that I probably haven't been looking up nearly enough. Not like on the other side of here, is it? No, I don't think so. Alright, let's start looking up and if we get our yeah, feet caught on something, it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think it matters. Yep, still not really seeing a hell of a lot. Other side of these bars, maybe? Nope, nothing here that would indicate some kind of change. A little bit obnoxious. How much oil have we got? We are running dangerously low on oil, and we still don't know what we're doing, which is not the best thing in the world. Let's go right here. He didn't die with an item, did he? No, it doesn't appear to be the case. He just died naked in the sewer, which you know, sucks a little bit for him, but it's not really our problem, is it? Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm actually lost. Has anyone beaten this yet? Has anyone beaten this custom story? Because I am at a wall. This happened in the 
uh, what was it? The abduction trilogy as well. There was one item that I needed to find, and it was just in a really stupid place. Alright, that's just ambience. We are completely out of oil. That's gonna really throw a spanner in the works. Not seeing a lot down here, necessarily. Not a simple matter of just walking through it, is it? No. I'm sure that that's the next path to progression. I can see like a little... A couple of little turnoffs down there. This does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. Completely out of oil. We've got a bottle left, but I don't really want to waste it looking for an item that may or may not actually exist. Okay, maybe in the dark we'll actually see the items glow blue, though. Maybe that'll be the case. Maybe that's how we find them. I'm pretty sure that there is nothing up above us. I've been pretty diligent looking up. Oh, again, stuck on something under the water. This sewer is not designed well. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's designed like absolute ass. <laughs> Why are there things beneath the surface of the water that you can get tripped up on if there's no monster or chase scene? It's just annoying. It's just flat out annoying. Okay, that's nothing. There appears to be... There, there's literally just nothing. There's no bars that we can pry off or anything like that. Nope. No items that we can pick up. Aside from the bucket that we took down with us. Okay. Oh, slap me with a trout and call me Bobby Kierka. That sure is a lantern. Okay. Okay, I, I will slap you with a trout and call you Bobby Haircut. I'll do exactly that. Let's use this. Let's use our oil. Still not really seeing a hell of a lot that we can do. It's just a barren empty space. Did we screw ourselves by coming down here? In the same way that we screwed ourselves by losing that ladder? Definitely can't pick this guy up. Uh, the ladder works underwater, that's good to know. Waterproof lantern. Never hurts. Yeah, there's definitely nothing here. I thought there was like an object that we could interact with, but it doesn't actually seem like that's the case at all. We can't go up that well, unfortunately. Ah, okay. There's nothing in there. We've already ruled it out. There's nothing under the water. There's nothing above the water. There's no, like, cave in the weak pause. There's nothing in here either. Because we've had a pretty thorough look in this region here. We have pretty much scoured this little zone. And the only thing that really sticks out is this bee. As being kind of like a bit of a weird thing. Oh, come off it! Really? Oh! No! It was so easy! Okay, and now I'm also uh, a little bit stuck. Also, still stuck? Good. Okay, the bricks are floating and it's sandbagging my progress. Good, we made it through. We found a human skull under the water. That's creepy. Uh, toss that over there. There's a tinderbox down here. Weird. Wonder why that's there. I'm gonna carry on. So this is the other side of there. There's that unlit candle that I saw a billion times already. We should be on the right path. Yeah, I feel like we're on the right path. We're moving on and... Ah, here we go. So we've done it. This is where we needed to go. Uh, this is an emerald gem. Why was it blue? Emeralds are uh, green. Quite famously so. It's not going to like come up with some scissors and be like snip snip. Fall back down to the sewers, is it? The monster I'm talking about. I mean, not our wife. Well, oh, this is a long climbing sequence. I wonder why. I wonder why they doubled down with this. Oop, here we go. Excellent. Now it's unlocked, even though we could have unlocked it from the outside yesterday. Okay, I think we've actually got everything here that we can get, don't we? So we probably just need to head back to the 
ritual room, which if I'm not mistaken is going to be to our left from here. Yep, it appears to be that way. Let's get rid of our lantern. Just for now. What? Where? Why? How? Why am I moving diagonally? I did not choose to do so. Okay, we are gapping it. Gapping it. Run, 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 run. Hey, thanks, man. It's good to be recognized. Okay, we should have everything. I'm looking for that bloody Bible that we threw off of a ledge somewhere. Where is it? There is a ledge somewhere. Oh, that's not it. There was a ledge with a Bible, and we threw the Bible down from that ledge, so know exactly where that is. We will be able to find the Bible. The Bible. Oh, hey, buddy. It's a kind of evil creature. Thank God it's dead. Don't thank God for something evil. What is wrong with you? Not good for the soul. Uh, that looks about right. Okay, so we would have thrown it from this direction, which means it would have landed over here, and I think it landed somewhere over this way. Oh, piss. We're out of oil, and I'm pretty sure the Bible actually phased through... Wait a minute. I saw it. Yeah. Give it! Yes! The game is saved. Okay, let's put that there. Right, so, number one needs to be the... What was it? Number one needs to be the... Number one needs to be the... One thing you love. Okay, that is... Our wife, I think. No object to use it on. What are you talking about? How about the giant pentagram run, honey? And then... Oops, mementos. A piece of pure evil, or a piece of really bad thing should work too. Where is that monster that we just picked up? The one we just kind of left over by the ritual site. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to just kind of drop it on the, the, the podium, right? He was over here. We would have dragged him here. Okay, good. Okay, let's go and put this guy where he belongs. Which, surprisingly, is not in the dirt. Man, he makes a bunch of slapping sounds. Okay, I'll, I'll chuck him. I'll chuck him again. There we go. That's pretty cool, actually. I do like the object on placement trigger. That is very cash money. Uh, next is a jar of full blood, and then the emerald gem. The gem emerald. Blood. No object to use it on. How about the ritual site? You dunce. And also a gem. And then we get in the middle. And we've also got the bibble. In the name of good, tell me your name, demon. Oh, we made it! May he eat good, this was just a dream. Sometimes, evil spirit betrays its presence and then goes into hiding. It appears to have left the body of the possessed free from all molestation, so that the possessed thinks he is completely rid of it. But the exorcist should not for all that desist until he sees the scenes of liberation. Sixth rule of the Roman rule of exorcism. That was fun, actually. Uh, that was a that was a pretty good one. The sewer was a little bit frustrating because the stone we needed to progress was very well hidden, but other than that, not so bad. Oh, music at the end by Pink Floyd? How about we make that music by Kevin MacLeod, eh? I feel like that's going to be a thing to avoid copyright. What are some of my favourite musical artists? Oh, that's a rabbit hole, man. That is such a rabbit hole. Uh, Chelsea Grin, one of my all-time favourites. Uh, Whitechapel were probably one of my earlier favourites. Black Dahlia Murder, quite like them as well. Uh, in terms of the light stuff, recently I have become acclimatised to Britney Spears and Ava Max, both of which slap. Simple as that. I listen to basically anything, any music of a genre, so long as it's good in the genre that it's in. If it's bad music in the genre that it's in, I'm not interested. Like, uh, for example, I listen to a lot of Recognize and Tech 9 in terms of rap. 
But I would never listen to, say, uh, what, oh, what's his face? The, the guy with the Skittles for teeth. Takeshi 6 9 I'd never listen to him. Uh, he's, he's terrible at what he does. He's only really got a platform because he's a 50, 50 cents bastard kid. So yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> Anything that's good. Even country. Luke Combs is pretty good. Wow. This was a great game, wasn't it? Okay. That's all I've got time for. Uh, I've actually gone over the time that I <laughs> had to play this. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Right up here, you are going to find the playlist for the Amnesia Custom Stories that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And just down below me is the description of this video where you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can reach out to my community and myself at your leisure. And until I do the next stream, which you can uh, tell is live by the little red dot next to my name, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye!